Hello traders, it's Tomek here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome in my weekly Forex forecast. Uh, we still have some difficulties on the uh, Forex market because of this whole situation which is going on with uh, uh, virus. So problems which you have currently uh, on the market is that we have um, moves, uh, we have volatility and then everything is slowing down again. It looks like... Uh, a market that doesn't know where to move exactly yes so it's better to lower the risk still in my opinion <clears throat> but even in this period uh, we can still try to find something but try to please remember that if you don't have good setups if you don't have signals if you don't have volatility do not jump uh, just like this inside the trade yes so first pair is all the yen if you pay attention for a weekly chart, it looks like price is retesting the 36 right now. Uh, so we might have another option uh, maybe to, to go long, to retest uh, again the resistance or maybe possible breakout and price will go higher to retest uh, this area, which is our next resistance. <coughs> uh, we also have a little bit of support exactly where price uh, touched the 36 EMA. Yeah? Uh, so last time, I think, so we discussed about possible short entries here, but we see that there was false breakout and the price right now is pointing up. So what we have, uh, our trend line, daily trend line was broken. So we would, uh, we are interested right now to go long to try to target this resistance area. So if you pay attention to four-hour chart, we can have possible uh, four-hour chart long one to three. If we have this, we can look for entries with main direction. It it might be 180 pips possible target. However, uh, because like I said, market is not so clear uh, like we had in the past uh, this also might be false breakout of this 36 EMA plus retest of the smaller resistance which we have on the daily chart I wouldn't bother much uh, if, if this is like a, a breakout and continuation because we still have uh, um, uptrend but basically we still have small resistance so if you see that price is not making any good setups here but is breaking our daily two to three line yes it's breaking this you can still look for short entries and target this support level which is also around 200 peps yeah so if we adjust a little bit our trend line right now it looks like this so whenever price starts to break this line you can look for short entries yeah so right now we look for potential long opportunities back to 36 maybe back to trend line and then long en entries main goal is here in case of the breakout of this trend line our goal can be even here yeah so this is what we have on the aussie yen aussie dollar new zealand dollar weekly chart uh resistance is on the previous tops we also have this um support level here uh price made up for us a long weekly one to three so we can look for possible uh buys there was also option to look for short entries here with this daily short one to three but again the price started to range a little bit and went up so it didn't continue there was reason for not uh to, to not have continuation because um the price holder almost touched this 36 cma and this and support level sometimes it happens that price is making still like a double bottom or another false breakout and then is reversing and is, is going up with the direction of the weekly weekly trend however in this case we didn't have it uh, but we have daily trend and breakout so what we can do is to look for possible setups for our chart looks pretty interesting right now uh, so if I can say this is best pair which 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 we have right now in terms of the price action volatility and movement uh, so uh, this is really good option to try to look for entries. If we see situation that price is breaking this to the tree line, closing above, this is our entry stop loss below and our goal is up here. But we can also combine this with lower time frames like, like for example, one hour chart. So on the one hour time frame, we need to see uh, one hour chart one to three here and then we can look for buys or even lower time frames we can go to 15 minute chart and what we have to see trend line breakout new high high higher low and then we can look for 
buys. Yeah, so this is what we have. Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, currently for buys. Uh, I wouldn't look for short entries like on the previous pair, like Aussie yen here, only uh, longs. Next pair is Euro dollar. And what we have here is uh, still strong uptrend. Price is retesting 12 EMA. We can have bounce and uh, continuation if this in, in this strong move. Uh, sometimes if we have strong movement, price is yeah here for example bouncing on the 12. We have continuation here uh, almost bounce. I uh, didn't uh, didn't uh, con uh, didn't continue but retested. But this move was. Uh, much much bigger than uh, than this one yes than this one so so that's why we can still continue uh, to go up without without this bigger retracement uh, definitely resistance is on the highs here it's visible next resistance will be a little bit higher somewhere around this area and support level um, on the weekly chart I would even say that we have we have here on those previous spikes there is still a room for retracement back to the 36 I mean we'll see how price behaves because sometimes we might have situation that we have this and price continue to go up or we'll see a little bit of hesitation maybe double top and then bigger retracement and then continuation yes definitely weekly chart is pointing for buys yes definitely momentum is uh, for longs we will see that trend line was broken if you would like to even draw from those tops trend line was broken here so everything is pointing up right now on the weekly weekly time frame so what we have on the daily uh we said uh, that we might have this bounce breakout continuation of this retracement but the price didn't create this scenario but we have this trend line breakout price is breaking this uh, we have already first setup to jump in which was not easy to spot but this was our first setup to be in this trade entry here stop loss uh, would be like 65 70 pips target 170 right now we still wait yes we still wait even you could uh, if your stop loss is here you can manage this stop loss here so you will be protected in case of 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 spikes or you just leave it here and you just simply wait for um, for what happens this is also trend line which can support our next setup so what we would like to get is another four hour chart one to three back to the 36 cma or back to this trend line if you see that price is rejecting this you look for buys on four hour chart or of course lower time frames yes so first four hour chart retracement then you have your entries uh and one hour chart uh, only for scalpers intraday traders if we see volatility uh yes if price will struggle in this area on the 36 cma if we see breakout then you can go to five or 15 minute chart to look for entries usd cat uh this uh is going down it works pretty nice on the weekly time frame this is our support level this was our resistance level here and a little bit higher even here but here we had 36 ema on the weekly chart so we see the price reacted and now it can continue to go to this support level in case of breakout of the support we still have a little bit lower next level somewhere around this area so we can continue to go down we also see on the weekly chart that our trend line was broken so it was like a breakout maybe retest and continuation of this of this down of this down move so if if this is trend change we can easily expect that price can drop lower yeah especially that here we had this retest of those previous stops yeah so price retested and then we can expect maybe a continuation. Um, we, if we pay attention to daily chart right now, we have situation like this. This is our daily trend line. This was our daily trend line breakout here. So lower time frames scenarios. Yeah, we have this first opportunity which was not easy to spot here. Yes. On the four hour chart entry stop loss would be like 100 pips so quite quite big for usd cat uh but we see that the target was hit yes 130 pips right now in in profits 
one hour chart we didn't have any any um anyone to treat but there was 15 minute uh, i think so 15 or 5 minute 15 minute one to three yeah so we see that after we could combine this daily trend and breakout with the 15 minute short one to three entry here stop loss above it will be like 20 25 pips and right now we will have we would have oops sorry for this we would have really nice uh, profits yes if we manage this correctly 100 20 30 peps with the 15 20 pips stop loss so it's really good really re really good uh, trade yeah if you of course trade on the lower time frames if if not uh you didn't have chance to uh jump in here uh <clears throat> so now what you have to do is to wait for four hour chart retracement and look for entries again together with this trend line four hour chart one to three lower time frame entries also uh and so we look for possible retracement and then entries usdn um <clears throat> what we have we are on the good area because we have this trend line however of course uh, maybe start from the weekly however weekly chart doesn't look nice yeah if you see up and downs ranges some spikes it's not good chart on on the weekly uh especially if we compare to previous moves when when really this pair was moving we had some moves down there's up uh, and right now it's 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 like you see it's not moving nicely uh, anyway we have the support we have uh, previous spikes <clears throat> we have to go to daily chart to see more details and here we will see that uh, we have this trend line uh, which price you know you see we we don't have free trades and we have only two spikes so it's difficult to draw so we don't uh, bother with this trend line but here we can draw trend line with at least three touches and we see that price what price did broke this trend line so we could look for possible long scenarios but there is no continuation for now so this might be also false breakout we also have a little bit resistance here so maybe retest of the resistance and then and then uh, continuation of this down move yeah so if you pay attention to the four hour chart uh, there is also situation that price is breaking our four hour chart 36 cma together with this four hour chart trend line so right now i would just look for possible short scenarios on the usdn four hour chart one to three here to look for short entries and then or we can look for a one hour chart entry yeah if we have this this is your one hour chart option or one hour with lower time frame combinations yes yeah? so this is this is what we can have uh here on the usdn and still we can try to target this previous support maybe price will stack in this in this area here a little bit longer yeah uh who knows yeah this is this is uh usdn and the last is gold because last time i said about possible buys of course we still know that gold is in the really strong up pressure however we achieved new highs so also a retracement is is possible but like history shows us sometimes we don't have bigger retracement but price continue to go to go up right now it yeah, last week there was a chance for retracement to target the 36 ema but today this week uh, shows that probably uh for now it looks like price is not uh ready maybe yet for the re retracement because we had previously this uh, this breakout here yes of this small wedge we had the short daily one to three we had breakout so we could say okay maybe we'll have this retracement however what we see right now price is breaking again the 36 ema so if you pay attention to our trend line our trend line here was broken yeah so even if we draw it from this point to this point our trend line is broken from this point to this point it's also broken yeah so basically what can happen is that price will continue to go up again yes with the weekly momentum so if we have four hour chart one two three here we can look for buys if we look for one hour time frame it's also opportunity for intraday and uh, intraday traders if you see that price is bouncing on 36 ema it's breaking to the tree line then there is option to go to lower time frames 
to focus on buys. Yeah. So so this is this is what we have uh, on the gold end. If this is false breakout, which also can uh, can be, yes, this is your two to three line here of the daily. Yes, and what we can say, okay, if price breaks this trend line, you are ready to go for short entries. Your first target should be on those previous lows here, this double bottom. And then your next target it can be the weekly 36 EMA. So it will be somewhere around this level. And then, of course, next levels of support. Yes, but this is, this is your goal. So there is still chance that price continue to go down. But right now it's difficult to to, to say yes so here we look for longs here we look for short entries yeah so that's all uh, for this week guys um maybe maybe tomorrow we will have uh, uh cleaner pictures monday usually is slow so we also have to wait a little bit for uh, maybe for other pairs uh, we also have some opportunities on the aussie pairs but i choose only two of them which are in my opinion um the best uh, but uh, probably you will also find some entries on the aussie aussie cat and aussie dollar uh, uh us uh, dollar yes but aussie and aussie dollar new zealand dollar in my opinion are the best so if you have any questions yes like always feel free to contact us i will be happy to to help you if you have any request for um, for uh, weekly forecast, if you feel that you would like to uh, check some pairs also or some other products, let me know. Uh, because usually what I do is I, I try to make a watch list for pairs, which in my opinion, uh, I see potential for some moves or for some continuations. So that's why I do not choose pairs which um, are not good. But if you have any request, uh, just let me know. And I also uh, put them here. Yeah. So thanks a lot, guys. Wish you all a wonderful uh, trading week. Uh, wish you uh, to have volatility to trade. And uh, talk to you soon. Bye.